Hello teachers! In this Talon video, I'm going to walk through uh, creating assignments for your classes. So once again, we are in uh, this practice class on Talon, and on the left-hand side, I'm going to scroll down to Assignments and select that. And you can see that I have already created some assignments for my class. Uh, but I'm going to walk you through how to um, do that for your classes. You'll want to note that over here under Given, these all have an X. That means that even though I have created these assignments on Talon, they are not actually visible to the students in my class. Um, I would need to give an assignment, so I would check it here and then select Give in order to actually assign that student that um, assignment assign it to my students and so that they can see it on talent on their end. So that's just something to keep in mind um, that you need to make sure you give an assignment when you want it to be visible to students. What this does is it allows you to create assignments ahead of time and then um, give them when you're ready. Um, but to create an assignment just click on the plus sign up at the top and you can see we have a wide variety of assignment options. You can create an online quiz. Offline means that it's a, an assignment that you want them to do but it's not something that they will do on their computer. So again maybe read a chapter in a book or if you're going to have a test in class you would list that as an offline assignment. That way it shows up as something they need to do um, but it's not tied to something on their computer that they need to you know, actually upload or turn in um, digitally. Um, essay is um, if you want them to do any kind of written assignment. It doesn't have to be an essay per se, but it might be um, TCAM. I'm just going to give an example of To Kill a Mockingbird um, um, thought question. And maybe I just want them to. Um, reflect on something they read in chapter one. In chapter one, um, how does Scout describe Acom? And then, you know, maybe I just want them to kind of, it's like a little thought question. Um, I'm going to say this is just a little homework grade. It's going to be due on you know, September 9th. Um, if you do have your class organized by lessons, you can you know, incorporate that here. If you're using resources to organize materials, then you wouldn't um, need to put anything there. Um, and then if you know, because this is just a, an essay assignment, um, you can give them more than one attempt. You know, they can try multiple times before it will not allow them to submit. Um, so maybe I want to give them three tries and you can allow them to turn it in late. If you don't click allow late, then once it goes past that deadline, it will not allow them to submit anything. If you click allow late, it will allow them to submit it, but it'll still show you that it was turned in late. So I usually for mine would allow late and then go ahead and click save. And you'll see my assignment um, there. I'm going to click on this button to go back up. Well, it's in, in lesson, so I'm going to go back over to assignments, actually. Uh, back to the assignment, and you can see that this essay that I created, essay assignment, is listed here. Note it has an X, so it hasn't been given yet. If I want my students to do it, I need to give the assignment. Um, but I can add other kinds of assignments as well. Um, if you want to have them do a little survey, if you want them to submit a, a file to a Dropbox, that means they have to just upload something. Um, if you want them to do something offline. Um, the library, if you've created assignments in the past, again, you can select the library. Um, you either go all subjects or narrow it down to your subject, and you can specify just your own personal library um, and then select the assignment that you want them to do. And then I can go ahead and add that. So that is another uh, feature so you can pull assignments you've already created. Um, so that's that's how you do that. Note, um, I just added this one from my um, my library. Um, and you'll notice that usually it's going to put them the most um, the, the 
the oldest assignment will be at the bottom and the newest assignment at the top. Um, this one, probably because it's an older assignment, probably has a date attached to it that is older. So I'm going to go in and edit. Yeah, see, this was due October 25th, 2019. So I would need to change that um, for my current class. Um, so I'm just going to scroll And maybe we're going to put that in October. And then you'll see that it um, switches where it's located. So um, just keep that in mind. If you are pulling an assignment from a library that you've already created or someone has created, um, you'll want to adjust that due date. Make sure it's the current year, the correct year. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how assignments work. Again, make sure that the due date is the date that you want them to turn it in um, and that you give the assignment if you want them to actually do it. Um, if it's not given, then it's only visible on your side of Talon and it's not visible to the students. So I hope that's helpful. Um, feel free to stop by and see me in the library if you have any questions.